in the last chapter of the Book of Unwritten Tales. Yeah, boo! I'm the unbeaten champion! Yes, yes! And so it continues. Gotta get money somewhere. Just cartons, right? The moving companies must have earned a fortune when the city was abandoned. Oh, can I use this they map? They earned some good coin. They're firmly... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, what's this? It's like a ship thing there. This is the town we're in. What is this? It looks like a carnival. I haven't been there yet. Ooh, it is a carnival. Wepperman. Okay. There are a total of 16 different fields on the wheel. Four colors and four symbols in every possible combination. Okay, I see the colors. I don't see the symbols, but I will take your word for the it. The chance of guessing the right segment is one in 16. I wouldn't bet my gold on that. Okay. If I had any gold. Which we don't. The Anything chance else? of guess No. Okay. It's like a... It is a very large wagon house. Wow! The wagon is like a house on wheels. Yeah, that's Probably what I just said. Cheap. It, it looks cheap, but I guess it wasn't cheap. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't want to get into a punch-up with the pony that pulls this wagon. Might be an elephant. Ooh. What the crap is this? Crazy hairy thing. Looks like it's got bindings on it or something. A cage full of hair. Huh. Here's a small sign saying Bertram, the world's fattest hamster. That wow. is kind of sad. I don't know if Bertram really is the fattest hamster in the world, but I reckon he's right up there. Yeah. Okay. Well then. Ooh, empty cage. An empty cage, I guess. The sign says, Ziggy, the invisible pink squirrel, may bite. Please stay back. Okay, seems like a rip-off to me. Uh, Ziggy's doing well, I think. Can we pet him? Examine the cage. The cage is lined with straw. There are lots of pigeon feathers and, uh, well, the other stuff the pigeons leave lying around. Okay. Ooh. Oh, take a feather. I was like, I don't want any of that other uh, stuff just pigeons take one leave. Feather. A big clean one. Yes, very clean, please. Ooh. A lovely big white pigeon feather. Okay. All right, well, I think I have looked at everything that can be looked at. So now, ooh, no, there's a crystal ball. It looks a lot a like crystal our ball. crystal ball. I wonder if the showman really can predict the future with it. Mm, doubtful. A crystal ball. Hmm. Well, let's speak to the showman then. Hello. Excuse me. Oh, hello. A young gnome. And he's got outstanding manners to boot. What brings you here? Fame My and fortune. My name's Wilbur Weathervin. I'm from the White Ridge Mountains and I have to speak to the Archmage. Well then, young Wilbur. I'm Willie the Wondrous. What can I do for you? Uh, your son says Whipperman. Is that not you? What's going on with these cages? These cages, what are they for? Oh, the animals used to be part of my fair. But since I started earning my money with fortune-telling, they're just a hobby. Mm -hmm. Apart from the pigeons, of course. What's with the pigeons? They're dead? The pigeons deliver my prophecies throughout the land. I work mainly for people I don't know personally. It seems a lot safer for you, right? Well, how shall I put it? Should a prophecy not quite come to pass, then it's better to be far away, don't you think? Yeah. And that's what the live psychic hotline says, anyway. So... Let's start from the top, then. You're a showman, aren't you? Are you the showman Master Marcus told me about? I don't know which showman your Master Marcus told you about, but I am a showman. Willie Wupperman's the name. Oh, okay. Some people call me Willie the Wondrous. I think I'll just but call I you Wupperman. I run my little fun fair on the side. First and foremost, I'm a fortune teller. A charlatan, you mean? 
So, Master Marcus says you're very rich, sir. Is it true that you're very rich? Why do you ask? Do you want to rob me? Maybe. Quite right. Give me your gold. And if that were the case? Then I'd have to point out that I possess outstanding abilities. Such as? I could hypnotize you into thinking you're an alien mule frog. Of course I don't want to rob you. What do you want, then? Just some money. I need a lot of gold to be accepted into the mage school. A pile of gold? Uh-huh. Hmm. I do have that much gold here, but it's the top prize from the Wheel of Fortune. I can't just give it to you. Oh, of so I not. have that to win the easy. wheel. Okay, then. So, can you really predict the future? Can you really predict the future? Of course. People come from all across the land to ask me for advice, and I give them good tips in exchange for good gold. And mm. what do they want to know? They want to know, for example, if the price of bread is going to rise. Then I tell them, yes, the price will rise. Then everyone buys lots of bread as a precaution, and the price really does rise. So you're a hedge fund manager. Or the women want to know what next season's colour will be. I always know. Yeah, could you pick it? So if you say that the ladies will be wearing green next year... Then everyone wears green. You must be an excellent fortune teller, then. The best. Would people pay me so much gold for my prophecies if I wasn't? They would, because people are gullible as a whole. Do you think you could maybe predict the future for me? Could you predict my future for me, please? I'd really appreciate it. I see that I can. <laughs> wow. But I don't have any gold. Not a problem. I perceive that today it's going to be on the house. Thank you, Ooh. sir. Weird. So, come on. Om. Om. Hocus pocus. I... See the future. What do you want to know? Um. Hmm. What's the next question I'm going to ask you? If you can see into the future, tell me what question I'm going to ask next. You. Well. Oh, the connection's broken. I'm sorry. Uh huh. Oh. Your question was perhaps a bit too specific. Yeah. My gift is very erratic. Um, thanks, just the same. Yeah, you need that questions. Was very interesting. You need Ooh, questions. Strange. That you can give broad, ambiguous answers to, I suppose. Oh, we can take the crystal ball. Let's not do that. Hello. Wilbur, what can I do for you? Um, about that gerbil, or hamster, whatever he is over there. The big fat thing. Uh, excuse me, but your hamster, Bertram, isn't he a little overweight? Of course. He's the fattest hamster in the world. Is he happy isn't like that? the cage just a touch too small for him? No. Bertram likes it cozy, that and he doesn't, doesn't move look around all like that much. what I would call cozy. Oh, imagine that. Hmm. Uh. Can I have a go at the Wheel of Fortune? Could I have a go on the Wheel of Fortune, please? With pleasure. I can do it without any gold. How do you even make a How profit? Does it work? As you can see, there are four different colors. Right. Red, yellow, green, and blue. Mm hmm You tell me which color the wheel is going to stop on. If you manage to get it right three times in a row, then you win the jackpot. That seems very, it very hard. It's unlikely that someone would be able to guess the right color three times in a row. If it was easy, then the top prize wouldn't be a sack of gold. Okay. Okay. 
Which color do you want? Um, yellow. It'll stop on yellow. All right then. Off we go. Oh, outstanding. You wow. guessed right. You see, it isn't so difficult. So, on we go. Just two more correct guesses to win. Right, so... Which colour do you want? Can I spin it instead of you? Because I conjecture that you may be skilled enough to make it land where you want. Um, green. It'll stop on green. All right, then. Off we go. Mm. Oh, sadly, that was completely wrong. Oh, it was close. Do you want to try again? Um, not right now. I don't think so. The chance of winning is much too small for me. As you wish. You are welcome to try again later. Okay. What is this pen and paper you have? Makes me wonder. So can we take the crystal ball? I can't just take the crystal ball. The showman would notice it missing. Okay. Hmm. Do we need our fortune told again? Is that... Hello. ...a thing? Wilbur, what can I do for you? I guess not. Uh, I guess we'll ask about the squirrel. You sure there's nothing wrong with the squirrel? You think so? It looks pretty normal to me. I mean, you can't see it. Oh, can we take the crystal ball now then? Why would Maybe we need to? Maybe the crystal ball from the mage school would work better. His other predictions are pretty useless. Oh. Okay, I guess you're going to do it on your own. Okay. You're all right, aren't you? I hope he's all right. It's such an impressive animal, don't you think? Oh, yes. Yeah, so very, very impressive. Oh, yes. Cute little rodent there. But feisty. He could rip off your finger with those fangs if you're not careful. Right, so don't reach in there and make sure it's actually there, in other words. That would just ruin your whole illusion. <sighs> Charlatans. All right, let's see how you do with a real crystal ball, sir. Hello. Wilbur, what can I do for you? Okay. Ah, oh, now we can ask. Could you predict my future again, please? I'd be happy to. Home, home, hocus poke. Hmm. That looks a lot different than it did last time. Mr. Yeah. Wickerman, hello. He didn't even finish his words. He looks like he's completely out of it. Wonder if I can ask him questions. And it's glowing. Is that was, a nod? Was that an answer to my question? Hmm. Can you speak as well? So this okay. is why Marcus thought it didn't work. It puts the user into a trance. Will I meet the Archmage? Will I fulfill my mission and give the Archmage the ring? Oh. No? But then... Then it will all be for naught. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. So, is anything bad going to happen? Will something bad happen to me during this adventure? Will, will I... Be hurt? Oh. Am I going to die? Oh. Oh. Then tell me. Oh. Huh? I must have fallen asleep again. Excuse me. Hmm. You, you don't know any more? No. About what? Oh, nothing. Hmm. I think you really saw into the future this time. I think so. You seem so. to wake up after a few questions. Yeah. 
and I think maybe your dying has something to do with that ghost mirror that I was conjecturing you would maybe need to become a ghost to pass through. That's the crystal ball from the mage school. Master Marcus says he received it as a promotional gift. Pretty good promotion, if you asked me. Hello. So can we ask some more future-related questions? Wilbur, what can I do for you? Uh, future predicting, can you predict please. Future again, please. I'd be happy to. Oh, oh, hocus poke. He's in a trance again. I think I can. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> if Mr. Wupperman always wakes up after a few questions and have to carefully consider exactly what I want to ask him, I think I can do that. Right. Oh. So we're going to try to beat the Wheel of Fortune then. Isn't the color blue or is it blue? That's a horrible way to ask that. Well, so I can just ask you questions and you won't lie to me, will you? I can simply ask you questions and you won't lie to me, right? Really? Amazing. Does that really count as a question? Really? You just asked a bunch of questions. Right in a row. I wonder how long it's going to get him to take him to catch on to what we're doing here. Uh, once more. Could you predict my future again, please? I'd be happy to. Oh. Can we skip? Thank you. He's in a trance again. Yes. He woke up after five questions, so that means I'll have to find out the right three colors in just five questions. Okay. So I guess we start with asking about two colors. Is it blue or yellow? Is it blue or yellow? Okay. Is it yellow? Is it yellow? So it's blue. First color is blue. Let's talk about the next round. Let's go to the next spin. Is it yellow or... Hmm. Yeah, is it yellow or is red? It yellow or red. Okay. Is it red? Is it red? So it's blue, yellow. And then... I wonder if colors repeat. So... Red or green? Is it red? Is it red? Oh, shoot. I forgot to go to the What's next round. Wrong with me? I must have dozed off again. Oh, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, I screwed that up, but... Could Let's we try play another round of the Wheel of Fortune. We, we know it's blue and yellow. Rounds, if you like, my little friend. So blue, yellow, and then most likely red or green. So I have Which maybe a 50-50 chance. Which color do you want? Uh, blue. It'll stop on blue. All right then. Off we go. Okay, great. You guessed right. You see, it isn't so difficult. So, on we go. Just which color? Uh-huh. Uh, yellow. It'll stop on yellow. All right, then. Off we go. Yes, where she stops, I definitely know. Come on. Unbelievable. Two in a row. Do you know what that means? It means I've got a chance. Not really? Does it have something to do with the space-time continuum? Maybe. Not quite. It means that you are just one away from winning a pile of gold. How big a pile? Oh, Can I pressure. see the pile? Which color do you want? Well, I'm going to guess green. It'll stop on green. All right, then. Off Come on, we big go. money, big money, no whammies, no whammies. Big money, big money, no whammies. And stop. It's not green. Oh, oh so it sadly, does repeat that colors. Was completely wrong. Oh, jeez. Do you want to try again? No, not right now. I don't think so. The chance of winning is much too small for me. As you wish. You are welcome to try again later. Thank you. 
So, we now have the information that it can repeat colors because it went blue, yellow, yellow. So that is very important to remember. All right, let's try this again. We've got five questions. I don't think we Hello. can actually get for sure all of the colors Wilbur, in five questions. What can I do for you? Uh, future. Could you predict my future again, please? I'd be happy to. Um. Okay, skip the little hocus pocus stuff. Thank you very He's much, in a sir. Again. Yes, red or green. Is it red or green? Okay, is it red? Is it red. Okay, so green. Next Let's round. Let's go to the next spin. Is it blue or yellow? Blue or yellow. Okay. Um, is it green? Is it green? So it's red. Green, red. Let's go to the next spin. Um, red or green? Is it red or green? So... What's wrong with me? I must have dozed off again. Oh, it, it doesn't matter. Can I cheat on this? Could you predict my future? Can again, I get him please? to do it twice and I'd then really, really happy. narrow it down? Because what we've got right now poke. is green, He's red. In a trance again. Okay, green. green. Okay, so it changes every time I ask. Maybe that is a way to cheat because you've got green or yellow, so that means. If that's so, that it's yellow. Next let's round. Let's go to the next spin. Green or blue? Let's ask about blue. Is it blue? Okay. So yellow, blue. Let's go to the next spin. Um, green or yellow? Is it green or yellow? Red? Is it red? Okay. So, let's go to the next spin. What's wrong with me? I must have dozed off again. Oh, it, it doesn't matter. So, I'll just be oh, going. Shoot, wrong thing. I was thinking too hard about colors. I have seen that you are going to come back. Yes. Hello. Wilbur, what can I do for you? I'd like to spin the wheel. Could we play another round of the Wheel of Fortune? And hopefully I've remembered these correctly rounds, because my brain like, my is friend. starting to turn to mush. Yellow, green, red, I think. Which color do you want? It'll stop on yellow. All right, then. Off we go. No. Oh, sadly, okay. that was completely wrong. Do you want to try again? No. I don't think so. The chance of winning is much too small for me. As you wish. You are welcome to try again later. Thank you, sir. Get a pen here and write these down so I don't brain fart on it. So the way I was doing apparently Hello. doesn't work, trying to cheat the system like that. Wilbur. You can predict my Could future. Predict? I'd... Oh. He's in a trance again. Uh-huh. All right. Is it blue or yellow? Is it blue or yellow? So it's red or green. Is it green? It's green. So it's red. Okay, next round. Let's go to the next spin. Is it red or green? Is it red or green? So blue or yellow? Is it blue? Is it blue? Okay. Go to the next round. Let's go to the next spin. Is it blue or red? Is it blue or red? So. What's wrong with me? It's I red, blue, and then blue again. or red. 
So we've got about a 50% chance. Let's spin. another round of the Wheel of Fortune? We can play two more rounds if you'd like, my little friend. Thank you for your generosity, sir. Hopefully this will be the last round of spins we will need to make. Which color do you want? Red. Rojo. It'll stop on red. All right, then. Off we go. Where she stops, this gnome surely knows. Yeah, see. Red. Outstanding. You guessed right. You see, it isn't so difficult. So, on we go. Just two more correct guesses to win. Yes, thank you. Which color? Yes, let's skip your dialogue, please. Blue. It'll stop on blue. All right, then. We know Off these we for go. sure. It is the next spin that will put our chances and luck to the test. Unbelievable! T not really. Yes. Not quite. Oh. We know. Which color do you want? Hmm, so it's red or blue? So is it blue, blue, or is it red? <sighs> red. It'll stop on red. All right, then. Off we go. Big money, big money, no whammies, no whammies, big money, big money, no whammies, and... It's not going to. It was blue. Oh, sadly, Okay, so it was red, blue, wrong. blue. Do you want to try again? No, thank you. I don't think so. The chance of winning is much too small for me. As you wish. You are welcome to try again later. Thank you, sir. Sadly, we cannot skip, skip, we cannot skip your walking animation. Still, we need that gold, so we must keep trying. Hello. Sometime later. Oh, oh! I, I don't yes. believe it. The finally got it. Are... Woohoo! Um, one in four thousand and ninety-six. About one in four thousand and ninety-six. Exactly. Perhaps you can see into the future, just like me. Perhaps so, sir. Certainly not as well as you do. Do I get my sack of gold now? But of course. I thought it was a pile. You won it. In my mind, a pile well, is bigger so than much. a sack. But you know what? I'll settle for the sack.